actually things you have to take care of. A lot of people forget that, but this other part is also part of the package of, of being a producer and DJ. <music> Saturday noon, I'm just back from grocery shopping. Didn't have any breakfast yet. Vanessa also didn't have any breakfast. And without breakfast on a weekend, we're both a little bit grumpy. So let's first make something to eat and then start into the day. You know what, I first of all need something, something nice to drink. And no, this is not beer, that's um, Coke with orange lemonade. I really hate like doing work in the household, except for cooking sometimes. But if there's one thing I really love, it's just, it's just filling up things. I don't know why, but it just feels so satisfying. I just have to learn to do it without creating such a mess. Now it's clean again. Not for Vanessa standards, but for me that's that's fine. Okay guys, I have the final three winners all figured out of the Dawning Remix contest, but today I won't announce them. There is still one more thing that I have to to check with the label. Because I'd love to have three releases, but I can't decide it myself. I really have to, to ask the label, because at the beginning we said one winner and one release. But I think there were so many good tracks, and I really narrowed them down to just three. I think these three people deserve to have their tracks released. And as soon as I figure that out, I will make a special video, and in the video announce the three winners. It's definitely time for another segment, a segment that I haven't done in a while, and that is Track Submits. As always, you guys sent me tracks. I have a lot of emails, I got quite a lot of tracks. But let's pick just four or five of them and give them feedback here in the video, listen to the tracks and you can also leave your comments and feedback for the tracks down below in the comments. Yeah, we actually have 286 emails, which is a whole lot, but I'm working on a solution so that all of you will get feedback. Not just from me, also from other people and also other people that submit their tracks so that every track that gets submitted gets at least some form of feedback. Okay, let's just pick the first one randomly, just scrolling up and down and stopping. First one is by Rekian Shreshta. I can't really pronounce it, but I hope it's it's close. He's watching the daily vlog, that's good. He uses Fruity Loops and he made a Tropical House track. He wants some general feedback and he's also asking me what kind of label would accept this style of music. You know what, let me actually get the headphones. There is no way I can give you good feedback without like having a good sound and listening here on the laptop is just Cool. It's like a, a really a tropical house track. The mixing is okay. I think there's something going wrong with the bass. It sounds way too stereo in the low frequencies. So please check that and have everything below 300 hertz in mono. That's usually the way to go. There are of course some exceptions, 
but you can't do anything wrong with it. And uh, the main top melody isn't really exciting enough. I think you should should work on this main melody. It's it's working, but if you have something that is way more catchy, or maybe also change the main melody throughout the track a little bit, at least for the different segments, to make the track overall more exciting. For labels, I think this this track is really close to to being able to to be released. There's some small things not 100% um, correct and really good so I might just give it maybe three four more hours or maybe a, another day just to work on the track try to improve it or just make the next one make it better than this one and I think you're pretty close you should just keep on doing what you do that's definitely the right direction there are no real big major concerns just make everything a little better and all together you will definitely be there really soon. I think it's those really low chord sounds that are way to, to stereo in the low frequencies and the bass, the low bass, the sub bass could be a bit louder. It's mostly just kick and I think this track would groove better if the kick would be a little bit quieter, the bass a little bit louder because now it's just like the kick and that also makes the track a little bit more boring than it actually needs to be. This track is not um, anymore on SoundCloud. Please also don't remove the tracks. Phone call. I have to do that later. I got another one, it's by Ivan. He is taking part in the track submits for the first time. He started last year with producing and he'd like to know what he should change in his tracks and his main problem is figuring out what to add to the track especially in the break part okay first of all never call one of your tracks no idea <laughs> this just throws the people immediately off the track is way too short it's really just like a demo or a, a, a loop and i mean you, you have the groove going the drums they are Kind of okay. Yes, the, the drum in themselves are, are quite all right balanced. The kick could be a nicer kick. But everything that is going on like in the middle section of the track, your synthy sounds, they are just way too loud. They are just sticking out of the mix. This sounds pretty unbalanced. So I would su suggest you to lower this, this main sound in the middle. Yeah, it's really this sound that starts like at 200 hertz, goes up to 800 hertz, the slow whatever synthy sound. It's too loud. The other synthy sounds are also too loud. Just pull them down by 5 or 6 dBs and try to make them more interesting. They are pretty, they have only like low frequencies, like the top part is missing, the one that sounds crispy that has the attack in it, and without it, it all just sounds a little bit dull. So maybe try working on that next and also trying to work on like making a full track that is at least like three minutes long, have an arrangement with one or two breaks and, and work on that. But I mean, for a year, that's that's already all right. It really takes quite some time until you learn to make tracks, finish tracks, and then the next step is to learn how to get the mixing right, also improving your melodic stuff and making the tracks catchier or more rememberable. It's just a long way. Let's just do the next one. It's by Luigi, and he's been producing for four years. And... He thinks he can't approve anymore and if I have any tips. track the mixing is right on point um, like small little things maybe the the sub bass a little quieter but maybe just half a db or a db and having 
overall on the track a little bit more high frequencies but it's usually something that can be um, fixed and mastering and it's also part and and the task of mastering the arrangement is there it's on point um, there's not really a whole lot I, I'd like to see improve I think when you kind of hit the point where you are satisfied with your mixing and you also are able to just finish tracks it's really all about finding your own style and just just slowly trying to improve track by track. But this is definitely a track that could be released on uh, EDM Big Room label. When you hit that point where you're satisfied and you don't know what to do, just keep on working on more tracks. I think especially in this kind of style you can make like 20 tracks a year and try to release them so that's actually what you should work on next. It's not only making the tracks and making the tracks good. It's also about getting the tracks out there with labels that you like to work with and also trying maybe to get gigs and everything that has to do with becoming a DJ and producer. It's not really just making the tracks. If you get to the point where the tracks are nice, that's cool, but there is like a whole another universe out there of other things you can take care of. Actually things you have to take care of. A lot of people forget that, but this other part is also part of the package of, of being a producer and DJ. Again, a track not available, let's just pick another one. This one is by James, he has been producing for just over a year. He's from the UK, he's working with Fruity Loops and Serum a lot. Only 15 years old, that's pretty young. He made a progressive house track and He's afraid of ruining his track with mastering because he's not really experienced with mastering. But I can tell you right away, mastering is really not that important. I always say it's like a, a picture and like the track is the picture or, or the painting and mastering is just a frame around it. It doesn't really change the value, the tone, the sound. It's just there so that you can put it on the wall. And in music terms, it's just to, to release the record, like the final touch to make it, um, to, to be able to sell it. Kick and sub bass are right on point, which is actually the hardest to, to get right. Just this main synth is, is too loud. It's like sitting on top of the entire mix, so please lower it. Maybe also think about changing the sound or maybe layering it with another sound to make it more interesting. And I have the feeling that the main sound is maybe an octave too high, so I would try lowering it one by, by one octave if it doesn't really have the vibe you're going for try to layer it and control both octaves separately and maybe have the higher one a little bit more quiet. It's like too top heavy this track, definitely too top heavy. But other than that, a really cool track and really solid for just being a producer for one year. So that's pretty much it with the track submits. We had four really cool tracks. And if you want to send me your tracks, the, the email is down below. I will once in a while do like a track submit. But as I told you at the beginning of the video, I have like a new method coming up really soon where you can submit your tracks and also other people can listen to them and you can give each other feedback. I think now it's time to just enjoy a little bit of Netflix, hope that the rain ends. And yeah, I don't know, just a chilled, relaxed Saturday. I think after last week, I really deserved it. I'm already preparing the dinner for tonight. Just some kraut, very German. That's probably the first thing people think of Germany. It's really tasty, I like it. You just have to prepare it in the right way. And that's probably not so interesting for you.